During the day, I'm an online news personality, but I'm also an expert on the Game of Thrones. I'm a math tutor, but I'm an expert on the NFL. I'm an academic advisor for psychology doctoral students, but I'm an expert in NSYNC. Welcome to the experts. Our game is played in four rounds, and in round one, our experts are going to answer ten questions apiece. And John, we'll start with you. What is the name of the seat of power that the show's noble family struggle to control? The Iron Throne. That is correct. In the opening credits, what body of water is the first labeled object on the map? The Narrow Sea? That's correct. What is the name of George R.R. R. Martin's series of fantasy novels on which Game of Thrones is based? A Song of Ice and Fire? That's correct. Number four, what is Lord Peter Baelish's nickname? Littlefinger? Correct. When Arya Stark is given her sword by Snow, what name does she choose for it? Needle. That's right. In what European city is the Game of Thrones production studio located? Belfast? That is correct. Question seven. The gate to Vaz Dothrak is comprised of what? Two horses touching hooves. That is exactly right. In what British colony was actress Lena Headey born? Ireland? I'm sorry, it's Bermuda. What is the name of Ned Stark's hostage and ward played by Alfie Allen? Theon Greyjoy. That is correct. Your final question of round one, John, in Game of Thrones. What title, the Dothraki equivalent of Queen, is Daenerys Targaryen given? The Khaleesi. That is correct. We move now to you, Jessa. Your category is in sync. Question one. In what city was in sync formed? Orlando, Florida. That's right. What two InSync members were formerly Mouseketeers? JC and Justin. That is correct. Number three, the album No Strings Attached was kept off the market for several months because of a legal battle with what former manager? Lou Pearlman. That is right. What line follows, I want to see you out that door? Oh, that was bad. Baby, bye, bye, bye. That is correct. <laughs> Following their debut album, what was the second album NSYNC released in 1998? Home for Christmas. That's right, you're five for five. Number six, what artist duetted with NSYNC on the song Space Cowboy? Uh, Lisa Left Eye Lopez. That is correct. What member usually sang the highest part? Chris Kirkpatrick. That is right. What actress who played Tara on Buffy the Vampire Slayer was in the same high school class as Joey Fatone? Amber Benson. That is eight for eight. Number nine, record label BMG almost didn't sign the group because of apprehensions about what member's dancing abilities? Lance Bass. That is right. Number ten, and this is your final question to go for a perfect round one, who are the oldest and youngest members of the group? The oldest member is Kirk. Chris Kirkpatrick, and the youngest member is Justin Timberlake. You got through round one without missing a single answer. Oh, yeah. Well done, Jessa. Thank you. Thank Raj, you. we go to 21st century NFL. Question one, in 2002, what former Viking replaced Dennis Green as Minnesota's head coach? Tice. Correct. What Bengals running back had 43 carries in a 2003 game versus the Texan tied for the second most attempts all time? Corey Dillon. Sorry, that's Rudy Johnson. Question three. One of the top cornerbacks in the league spent eight seasons with the Raiders and currently plays for the Eagles. Spell his first and last name. <laughs> uh, first name is N-N-A-M-D-I. Last name is A-S-O-M-U-G-H-A. -A. That is correct. Two out of three. This is question four. Started in 2006 as the Jets flag crew. In 2007, the New York Jets cheerleaders changed their name to what? I can't even venture That's a guess. That's the Jets flight crew. What receiver is the author of the 2006 children's book titled Little T Learns to Share? Terrell Owens. That is correct. Question six. What current running back, who was a state finalist in the 100-meter dash in high school, tied for the fastest 40-yard dash time in NFL Combine history? Randy Moss. Sorry, that's Chris Johnson. You're three and three. Name any of the four active players to have double-digit interceptions in a season since 2001. Uh, Asante Samuel. That is correct. Question eight. Which is the only AFC West team that has not won the division since 2009? Chiefs. It's the Raiders. In week seven of the 2012 season, both Mike Tolbert of Carolina and Stevie Johnson of Buffalo celebrated touchdowns by performing what international dance craze? Uh, Gangnam Style. That is correct. <laughs> and finally, in 2007, what running back had 315 total yards from scrimmage in a game against the San Diego Chargers? Uh, Corey Dillon. I'm sorry, that was Adrian Peterson. We'll be back with round two of the experts. 
Now our experts have seven questions to choose from, increasing in difficulty from one to seven. But those seven dollar questions are really hard. Each player will only answer two questions. They can either answer or push. But if they push and their opponent gets it correctly, they get the money. You can't lose any money in this round, but if you play it smart, you can keep your opponents from making much money. Raj, you got a six. You know that the questions are ordered in order of difficulty. You do need some points. You can play it or you can pass it. Uh, I need to make up some ground here, so I think I'm going to play this one. So Raj, your six point question. Last season, four players averaged more than a sack per game in the NFL. Name three of them. Uh, Justin Tuck, Patrick Willis, uh, O.C. Yomanura, Jared Allen, Jason Babin, Jason Pierre-Paul, and Demarcus Ware. Four players. Duh. <laughs> we, we move now to you, John. What's football? Okay. Question one through seven. And you pulled a four, John. You can play it or you can pass it to one of your competitors. I feel comfortable with this. I shall keep it. You will keep your four question, and here it is. The motto most often heard about the House Lannister is, a Lannister always pays his debts. But what is the clan's official motto? Hear me roar. And that's four points for you. Roar away, John. You are now up to 13, and we move to Jessa, who is now trailing, oh, but with one to play. Go ahead, Jessa. Oh, I'll take a three. You got your three I'll questions. I'll take a three. <laughs> what 2000 holiday film featured an in sync song on its soundtrack? The Grinch. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The song was You Don't Have to Be Alone. Wow. It was written by J.C. Chazay. What right. up? I believe you got three <laughs> points, but you lose two for showing off. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, fair enough, so fair enough. Three points, and we go now back to Raj. All right. We are tied, 13, 13, and 5. Raj, you got your seven-point question. Are you ready for it, or do you want to pass it? Hmm. Well, I'm probably not ready for it. Uh, so I'm going to pass it to Jessa. Jessa, this will be your final question of this round, your seven-point question. In what shopping, dining, and entertainment district in Walt Disney World did InSync give its first public performance? Um, guys, I know you both um, know this. So yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I do. Treasure Island. Bam! I'm sorry. It's Pleasure Island. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on me. <laughs> Bam. That sucks. <laughs> I have that coming, oh my god. Uh, uh, we go sorry. now to John. <laughs> Hilarious. John, which of your seven questions will be your final of this round? Your one point question, you can play it or you can pass it only to Raj. Passing. No, oh, passing. Yeah. You're passing. The passing, passing the one point question to Raj. So Raj, this is your final question of this round. Since 2001, who are the only two non-quarterbacks to be selected number one in the NFL draft? Uh, let's see, so you got Jake Long and... I can't get it. Uh, Raj, like... you don't give half points, I'm sorry. It's Mario Williams taken oh, right before Reggie, Reggie Bush. Bush. In season one, episode two, what three characters sustain injuries to their arms or hands? Okay, uh, there's the assassin who tries to kill Bran Stark. Um, th there is uh, Joffrey uh, Baratheon. And there is Jon Snow. John, I'm sorry, you got one of the three right. It turns out it's Catelyn who got it from Bran's would-be assassin that you mentioned. Joffrey was correct, and Daenerys from the reins of the horse she was riding. Come back for round three of The Experts. In round three, our experts will answer two questions, this time for $5 a piece. And while they're thinking, the other experts will bet on whether or not the expert knows the answer. And we're going to start now with the player with the lowest score, Raj, that means it's you. This is your first question. What two NFL teams play in stadiums named after their team mascot? Quick response there, Jesse. You thought he'd know it or not know it right away. John, you have your guess in? Change? Coming back? Okay. And Raj, we're ready for an answer. 
Okay, got the ravens and the dolphins. The ravens and the dolphins. That answer is incorrect. And John said it would be right, and Jessa <laughs> said it would be right. They, <laughs> they everybody loses the, the correct <laughs> answer. The correct answer: the Cleveland Browns play in Brown Stadium, and the Dallas Cowboys play in no. Cowboys What's Stadium. Jessa, this is your first question. From left to right, give the order of the boys on the No Strings Attached album cover. From left to right. John, did you just happen to know this offhand? <laughs> boy, oh boy, I think it's Chris, Justin, Lance, Joey, JC. That is incorrect. Wow. <laughs> yeah, John and Rod. <laughs> Points. The answer, Joey, Chris, oh, Justin, JC, oh and Lance. How do you miss that? John, in what episode do Daenerys and her Kalasar travel to Karth, or Quarth, where they are nearly turned away to perish in the surrounding desert? Look at the way you're looking at John, Jess. Look at that study. Do you think he's got it there? No. It's tough to tell. John, we're ready for your answer. Oh, the Garden of Bones. The Garden of Bones is the correct answer. He got it right. Raj, oh, unfortunately, doesn't right. get it, but <laughs> Jessa gets five points and John gets five points. In NFL, 20th and first century NFL, what 2002 team beat the Pittsburgh Steelers 24 to 6 despite amassing only 47 yards of total offense? Jessa and John look like they're already in with their guesses. Your answer, Raj. I say the Baltimore Ravens. It's the Houston Texans. John said you get it wrong. Jessa yeah, said yeah. you get it right. And Jessa, here's the question. What band member once told an interviewer the, the beginning of the shows are different? One time we'll say, hello, Denver. Another time we'll say, hello, Memphis. It's always different. <laughs> Jessa? Seems like it'd be JC. It really does seem like it would be JC. But it's not, is but it? But it's Lance. Oh, not Lance! He said she'd get it right. Raj said she'd get it right. No harm, no foul. The last question goes to John. John, a question from Game of Thrones. What four animals representing the noble houses of Westeros are seen at the corners of the Game of Thrones logo? Four animals. They're so looking at you. You seem like you're acting. You may be stumped. John, what are those four animals? That's going to be the Stark Wolf, the Lannister Lion, the Baratheon Stag, and the Targaryen Dragon. And that is about as correct as a man can get. They both thought you'd get it right. Five across the board. <laughs> Coming up, round four will determine the expert of experts who will then go on to answer the hardest question in the world. Round four determines our winner, the expert of experts. And it's anybody's game because they can wager any or all of their money. Jessa, you've been given two categories. Those categories are in sync videos and in sync on tour. Your category one question, in sync on tour, you've chosen to bet one dollar. And what restaurant I... chain sponsored the band's Pop Odyssey tour? Uh, so what restaurant sponsored? Oh, 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 Chili's! That's exactly right. You should have bet more, but I you totally did bet have. one. Chili's. That brings your total Chili's now to 24. Our second question goes to John. His categories were writers and minor category, minor characters. In the category of writers, you wagered one dollar. And here is the question. No Name either of the two women who have written or co-written Game of Thrones episodes. Why didn't I bet more? Can I try to steal? No. Let's hear. You wish I, you bet more. That means I you actually, think I you didn't know. even know there were two, but I know that Vanessa Taylor is one of and them. And Vanessa Taylor is, must be friends with Jane Espenson, the other. Raj, we go now to your categories in 21st century NFL. Wide receivers and NFL logos. You said in NFL logos that you would bet $2. Here is that question. When the NFL logo was redesigned in 2008, the number of stars in the top of the shield was reduced from 25 stars to what number? Those are kind of impossible 16? It's actually eight. It's eight for the eight divisions of the NFL. John, your second category, minor characters, where you wagered $10. Yeah. What character, revealed in the novels to be blind, is played by a legally blind actor in the series? That's Aemon Targaryen. 
That's right, Maester Eamon Targaryen. We go now to Raj for your second question. This is in the category of wide receivers. What current wide receiver is the career leader in kickoff returns for touchdowns with eight? This is for $13. $13. What current wide receiver is the career leader in kickoff returns for touchdowns with eight? Devin Hester. Josh Cribbs is the correct oh. answer. Sorry, Josh. He's on, my, he's on my fantasy right. football team. <laughs> we go now to our final question. The score 44 for John, 24 for Jessa. Jessa bet 22 on this question. The question for the lead in sync videos who is the only member not wearing a turtleneck in the video for this? I, I promise you. you. Okay. <laughs> I knew the video was not wearing turtlenecks. Okay, JC was. The only member Justin was. not wearing a turtleneck. Oh, Lance, Chris, or Joey? Lance, Chris, or Joey? Lance, Chris, or Joey? Okay, I'm gonna go with Chris. Joey Fatone! No! No! God! Joey won! Jessa goes down to two. Oh, no! John Ivor won Game of Thrones. You are leading as you go into the round where we will ask you the hardest question in the world. You're going to start by choosing the percentage of your total that you're going to be playing for. If you get the question wrong, you'll obviously lose that much of the money. But if you get it right, the good thing is you'll win that much money. We'll reveal it later, but I want you to pick an envelope now. And now it's my job to ask you the hardest question in the world. In the category of Game of Thrones, John, what four countries outside the United Kingdom have served as filming locations for the series? Okay. Uh, so, thankfully, uh, I follow George R. R. Martin's blog, where he mostly talks about New York's Giants games, but he also talks about filming because he went and visited a lot. So I know a lot of the locations. Some of them are actually in the UK, Ireland and Scotland. But I know that when they were filming the, the pilot originally for HBO, the scenes shot in King's Landing and the rest of the south of Westeros were filmed in Morocco, uh, but they switched that for the first season for logistics reasons to Malta, uh, and then they switched again for the second season, they switched over to Croatia, uh, because the city of Dubrovnik is walled in the same way that King's Landing is, uh, and that takes care of the south, and all of the scenes that were shot north of the wall uh, was in Iceland. John, you just did it. You got it right. The hardest question in the world. Fantastic. Let's see how much you were playing for. Open your envelope. And your total was 44. You're playing for 50%, $22. You're up to 66. You are a champion, John. Hear me roar. <laughs>